In this particular lecture, let's conditionally render these fruits, but not on the basis of the price, but on the basis of their availability. So right now, if you take a look at the fruits list, we are actually sorting these fruits or rendering these fruits depending upon if the price of those fruits is greater than five. But let's say if you don't want to make a check on that. Let's say you want to get only those fruits which are available and you don't want to display the fruits which are sold out. So in order to do that, we have to have some property on the fruits uh, which kind of state if those fruits are available or they are sold out. So let's add a new property here to the fruits and that property is going to be called as sold out. So here you could set the sold out property to a Boolean value. So let's say if Apple is not sold out, I would say false. All right. So after adding this property to this single fruit item, let's also add it to other items as well. So I'll copy this along with the comma and I'll add it to all the fruits here. Make sure that you copy the comma as well. All right. And now let's go ahead and let's make some fruits as sold out. So let's say banana is sold out. So I would set the sold out property of this thing to true. Uh, let's also set the sold out property for pineapple to true as well. And now let's go ahead and let's first render all the fruits here. So I'll go ahead and get rid of this code from here, which is the conditional code. And right now we only have a list element and this is going to display all the fruits. So here we now get all the fruits. So now let's say if a specific fruit is sold out, we still want to display it over here. That is, we don't want to remove it, but instead we want to display a message in front of it, which says sold out. So how exactly could you do that over here? So what if I simply go ahead and add a message directly like sold out? What happens in that case? So that message is going to be displayed in front of each and every fruit which we have. And in order to get rid of these quotations, I could even include it in curly brackets like that. So now it says sold out for every fruit. But the thing is, we want to display sold out, not for every fruit, but only for that fruit which is actually sold out. So how exactly would we know if a fruit is sold out? We know that on the basis of this property, which is the sold out property, which we have added to each and every fruit. So after adding this property to every fruit, we also have to make sure that this property gets passed to the actual fruit. So we take this property, we pass that property as prop over here. So sold out is going to be sold out. And once we have access to that property in fruit, now I have to accept that over here, which is sold out. And now finally, we could access that sold out property of the fruit over here. So we check if a fruit is sold out. If that's the case, then we want to say sold out. Else we do not want to return anything. Therefore, we return an empty string. So if I do that, save this code. And if I go back here, all right, now nothing is being rendered. So let's check the error. So it says sold out is not defined in fruits.jsx at line number 21. So let's see why exactly that's the case. All right, so over here at line number 21, this should be fruit dot sold out. Not simply sold out because sold out is actually the name of the prop, but the actual value of sold out which you get, you're getting that from the single fruit object which you have here. So make sure that you don't do that mistake. All right, so if I hit refresh, Right now it says sold out for banana and pineapple as the sold out property of them are set to true. So now let's do an experiment. Now if I simply go ahead and change the sold out property of apple from false to true, this time it will display the sold out message in front of apple as well. So this is how you could go ahead and conditionally render a list of objects using ternaries. So in one example, we have completely eliminated the particular item. And in the other example, we are conditionally displaying something in front of it. So as to say that this particular element is sold out. So that's it for this lecture. And from the next lecture onwards, let's go ahead and let's start learning how we could handle events in React. So let's learn about event handling in the next lecture.